hello friends welcome back and uh, i am amit and today i am going to show you very exciting tutorial that can blow your mind okay so i am not going to say the name because i am not putting any name for this but uh, you have to check this out so i am playing it right now very exciting because uh, uh, I am putting that model and also stick uh, link that gun with the hand and as you see it look amazing and I'm also um, make that uh, home uh, room uh, and put those lights and uh, and everything look nice so and if you look closely that uh, when if I zoom in here when she fires the upper portion of the gun that slides backside and that is happen in reality and also if you see that uh, the shell that pops out okay like this so very exciting and um, uh, before start uh, I am going to say that uh, that is not only created by element 3d in after effect because we are also using um, other softwares to make this so before you make anything like this I recommend that you have to watch my previous tutorial for easy character animation tutorial for element 3d Adobe fuse mix 3ds max uh, etc because um, you also need those uh, tools first you need uh, add a fuse to create uh, the character and also uh, use uh, mixamo that is the online site for uh, for rig the character and uh, 3ds max to um, export the obj sequence and also in that case uh, i am using element uh, 3ds max to link that gun with the hand of the character so uh, that is gonna be very exciting so let's get started uh, so here we are in 3ds max and when you uh, import the uh, uh, mixam of uh, rig file in 3ds max it will look like this okay so i think i have to increase the frame number here so if we make it 160 frames so and hit ok mm -hmm. as you see there is the full animation and i am also download a a gun from the site called uh, the free 3d a uh, 3d model.com i guess and uh, i am also put the link uh, link and for the download that gun model and as you see it looks uh, very nice uh, if we render it out uh, very nice looking so we are using that gun and link that gun with the character so how we do that so once you import the mixamo file and it will you will see there is some folders that represents the all parts for the character so that is for the hat and hair and eyelashes so um, but there is a folder that is the mixamo rig okay so we need that part so inside if we uh, open that folder you will see there is a bunch of so many uh, so many options here but uh, we need the left hand because as you see she fires by her leg hand a uh, left hand okay so so here if we found find the that is the uh, mixamoric spine and there is the right up legs and left up legs but we need the hand so if we open that and there is the spine the spine one inside that the spine two the inside the spine there is the right shoulder shoulder and there is the right arm but we don't need the right arm so we need the 
we need the left shoulder and the left arm and so on so left hand so we need the hand so there we found our hand um, option um, joint here so now we put the gun at the same position um, same position here so let's find the gun so here is our gun so first select that and reposition it so you can use the all four views so first up the gun and also here and we have to rotate the gun so rotate it like that and also position it now we have to scale down the gun so select the scale switch here and down it little bit like this and also position it again like this well it uh, not going to be so perfect because uh, uh, we don't know that which uh, gun uh, the use uh, for the motion capture that uh, model so uh, we just uh, making as close as possible so rotate it if we if we render this well not set yet if we select the gun if we was down the scale little bit and position it also rotate it so uh, very close okay very close so now uh, we position that gun and now we have to link that gun with that hand so here we already uh, specified the left uh, the spine the left shoulder and the left hand so now we put the gun inside that folder so just click and drag and put that gun there so now you will see that the gun is link okay so uh, if you see the gun is link very nice so that is how we can link any object with the uh, with the rigged model so uh, very useful and uh, uh, yeah, people you can uh, you can use anything uh, by using this technique you can make anything so so once you satisfied with the position and the scale and also the um, also the movement for the object that you link uh, and now the part is to export this so i uh, already um, show how to export obj sequence from uh, uh, from uh, 3ds max 
so just uh, there is a scripting and you can uh, run the script that i also given in the description there is a obj exporter script and that i already give you in the downloadable link so you can download that script and run its script and specify the folder where you want to export that uh, uh, character so okay so af uh, after you uh, complete the uh, obj sequence export now uh, let's jump into the after effect so here is the after effect so mm, first we make a new composition um, okay new composition and hit ok so here we are so we have to erase all the memories and these caches so it can run fast and hit ok so nothing in the viewport so now we create a new solid and apply the element 3d on it so we are in element 3d so once you export the all obj sequence you can import it uh, in element 3d by clicking file import and 3d sequences so i am already import the uh, the uh, file so uh, here is the um, let me see obj sequence girl with gun so there is the export from the uh, obj um, sequence export from 3ds max so if you see that very nice and you can see also that the gun that is also create a separate model here so that is important because if you want to animate the gun so you can do it from here so so i am not going to uh, show the all process how to export and uh, import the th obj sequence because i am already shown that things but if you have any questions you can ask me in the uh, composition uh, in the comment section so i will help you out there but um, so moving on we already ex import the 3d character so now we have to build our little room so uh, for this uh, but uh, our character is so uh, the size is big so we have to uh, decrease the size like this okay so now create a floor layer so there is a create oh, first of all i have to close the 3ds max okay so um, and now we create a floor so there is a create a floor plate and scale it up like this and apply a texture on it so i'm using pro shader 2 and there's a metal texture that is depends on you what you like so just put that material and also increase the UV map size so maybe 2 by 2 and also make it very reflective so there uh, well it is already set on 100 so we have to uh, enable the reflection mode uh, I you choose the mirror surface so you see the reflection look nice and now we put some wall here so for this I use that cube and scale it up like this 
and also uh, apply a texture so I use that texture on the wall and also duplicate it so press alt in the keyboard and select the y axis and just rotate it and then press shift and rotate it so it will uh, rotate exactly to the 90 degrees and position it okay so now we put some pillar that is very important and apply that texture and also dark it little bit like this and now again reposition it by dragging the axis like this also scale fix that and make the height also like this also. okay and now we have to duplicate it again just duplicate it like this and again duplicate it like this so we already making the half of the tutorial so now we have to duplicate the floor layer again so select that uh, uh, by pressing the control in the keyboard and click on the object that you want to select and it will select so now we have to duplicate it so press alt in the keyboard and drag the y axis like this it will duplicate but we not see that object because uh, the that uh, side is not visible so we have to make visible so select that and go to the material and at the setting option there is an option called drop back face hit ok and now you will see it uh, shows that uh, side also so we already make the room and the part is now is to put some light in here so i use um, the backlight collection from video copilot that is very nice because uh, um, if we just click on that it will create a nice looking light and as you see it also reflecting so very nice so we have to position it so just uh, uh, make the uh, rotation as you like and set the uh, position like this okay so maybe we uh, make, okay and now also duplicate it duplicate it and again we also uh, put some light in here so just duplicate it again and rotate it and position it like this okay and again like this so that is the all work we can do in element 3d so now the part is uh, is to uh, composite the other stuff so we are done here and also and click ok so here we are now create a new camera uh, make a uh, 20 millimeter and set it like this so as you see it already look amazing so now we have to put some light we need four light for the four uh, for for the, those four lights so 
create but before we create light uh, put some light we have to specify the position for the light so here is the utility tab in the element 3d click on that and there is in a select 2g 2d positions so after we select that we can generate that exact the 3d position uh, for that side so just click generate and it will create a null object and so on we have to make well set to the half rays so for that light also generate and that light also and so on well I don't know okay little lag so so now we have the four position for the light so first create a new light I am using a spotlight and make it white and hit ok so for the light I copy the position for that null object click and Control C to copy that position and paste it in the position for the light okay so now you can see the light is placed at the same side position for uh, of that null so again create another light hit ok and we have to delete that first position because we don't need that and again position the second light and also copy that null position copy it and paste it like this so create that light and now we create another light again and also copy that position and paste it here and again delete that now create another light copy it copy the position and paste it so now we place all the lights so as you see the scene is well lit and look nice so now uh, we have to put some shadow here so just uh, go into the render setting and there is a shadow option and hit ok and we also uh, map, uh, increase the map size to the 8k so as you see the all light making their own shadow here and that is the fun part because it looks really amazing and and now make some ambient occlusion so just click and increase the intensity like this and also um, go to the advanced option and increase the light influence and also the depth influence so that is what we get now so the next part is make some glow for the light so at the glow options uh, click the enable glow and also increase the radius like this so we're already getting a very nice look uh, i think it crashes again well not so i think i have to purge the memories okay so that is how it looks like now uh, very nice so uh, if you see we are getting the results so now the part is to animate the gun so 
for that we are going back to the element 3d layer again uh, well for the editing part I uh, like to put it in draft mode so it will not become so heavy so go to the scene setup uh, so here is the gun so if we go to the character model and select the gun and we have to find which one is the upper portion so if you check uh, that is the trigger we don't need that that is the upper portion so we need that part so just uh, uh, select it if you right click there is some option but you will not find the auxiliary channels because oh, we select the material view but if we uh, select that mesh view and and now if you select the gun and that part that is the cube 005 and you will see uh, if you uh, if you right click and there you will find the auxiliary animation channel so if we put that in the channel number one and go back to the after effect and going to the group one the auxiliary channel so first we get the position when she fires the gun maybe here let's see when she fires uh, i don't know it lags because the screen recording on so just put it in the quarter resolution oh, very slow so there she fires so going back to the half resolution also the full resolution so if we zoom in here we will see when she fires we need we need that position so now we have to animate the upper portion so it will slide back backward when she fires so going to the auxiliary channel number one and here is the position so if you change the uh, I, what position it is the x position uh, it will not look right if you change the z position it also not look right right and if you change the y position it will not look right right so so we have to change the both z and x axis to maintain the same position for that uh, upper portion so just click uh, uh, make a key uh, key mark here and also to the x axis um, for the x axis uh, just go to the two frame and animate it like this well it is very confusing because if you see okay so now we can get the actual position like this So 
so that is the value if you just put that value it will works i guess so that is the uh, 10.10 and the point minus 0.02 so and again um, to the few frame uh, just reset that value and now you will see like this if you just play that part like this okay so that is we are trying to do like this so and also we need some uh, bullet shell that can pop uh, from that side also so going back again to the element 3d layer uh, uh, we need a bullet shell so i use the projectile weapon model pack from video copilot and there is in a shell the 45 millimeter shell just click it and also put it in the another group so i drag it uh, out the group and put it in a group two and hit ok so now i create a null object for that shell case so create null and if we select the null just position it also scale it down like this and maybe we can use the four views so um, so it will be very easier like this if you select the camera and also rotate it press shift and r to bring the rotation options uh, i think Uh, rotation with the depth maybe 90 degree and also scale it down again maybe 1.5 and also also change the position like this so there is a small trick that I'm going to show you that the gun is linked with the hand so the gun is animating but our bullet shell is not animating that way so we not uh, want to see that bullet until we uh, until that bullet pops from the gun so that is the time when the gun uh, bullet is pops up so for that uh, time only we can see the uh, we can see the uh, bullet shell so uh, until then we have to hide that bullet shell so we can do it in a many way and here is a small trick that I use I just scale it 0 uh, scale it 0 so we not seeing that but once the gun is well let's find when the so there is 
so if we see the frame by frame here so there is the previous frame and that time the <coughs> upper portion go behind so just uh, make a key, key frame and scale it up again so now we can see the shell again so reposition it and also make the same position here okay so now we can see the shell here so go back and go back to the uh, main view and like this now we change the position also so bring the position value and as the position value and animate the position like like this also down it here and oh sorry we not put the position marker so can I make a keyframe at the position and going for the few frame and again animate the position so x axis and y axis and make some trajectory like this okay so you will see very small but when we need some details we have to do this like this the shell is pop out and we also make some rotation well uh, when it is in the motion blur uh, we don't see, we can't see the rotation but uh, we have to make this because that is actually happen in reality so just uh, make some rotation also like this uh, you can also make changes at the speed for the shell um, but uh, i just give you the idea so like this so now we done with element 3d so now we have to focus on the Mozal flash and other stuff. So back to the full render and also making a half race. So I think we're making very big comp here. Uh, if we make it four second long so let's see what we get well if we um, disable the shadow and the ambient occlusion I think it will run fast so let's see
so that is what we get boom so if we trim that comp area only will not because we lose the light also so that is what we get so now put some mozal flash here so I use action essentials uh, from video copilot and use that mozal flash very nice looking so just put it here and also align the align the uh, time and also make it 3d but before making 3d we have to change the anchor point so there is the pen behind tool we are using for this select that and change the anchor point so now uh, change the anchor point at the very beginning of the fla uh, flash and make it 3d like this and we also off the except light by pressing the aa uh, and off the except light so now we position it at the same position for that uh, gun so for that case we also make uh, make again a null object for that position to go back to the utility and make that null here and also copy that position and paste it in the position for the mozal flash like this wow not that much big bullet we use we have to scale that down like this okay so very nice looking and it is fitted right because we change the uh, anchor point so if you very very nice and very appropriate okay so now we have to put another light uh, only when the flash is up so make another light and this time we are using a point light and the color will be uh, the color will be the same as that flash so just uh, select the light uh, oh, we not making the light yet so new light and pick the color pen here and select that color and hit ok so we create the light I think come forward to change the type so as a point light and hit ok so now we have to position that light at the same position of that uh, mozal flash so bring the position value for the mozal flash layer hit p copy it and paste it to that light position okay so now we get the light also but we don't need the light throughout the frame so just only when the flash is up so that frame the flash is up so just drag and snap that and and again like this so it only on on the flash wow look amazing Bam. So 
we only missing the bullet well I am not doing this because the bullet is so fast if you want to make a uh, slow motion videos you can make that but not today so we are all set up like this so now back on all the oh well I not making any camera movement so first to make some camera movement here so that is our camera press A and also press shift and press P in the keyboard so and select those maybe we make uh, then the position and also at the at the very end we can zoom in and here so if we play it again and also make some camera wiggle so at the point of interest press alt and the keyboard and click on the stopwatch and make our expression called wiggle and inside the bracket maybe 2 comma 60 and let's see what we get press 0 for the ramp review and that is what we get wow and also see the some smoke here bam wow so we almost done so now back on all the effects that is the shadow and the ambient occlusion and the glow also if we can uh, like this increase the intensity so so if we play it again very nice so now we are missing the sound so for the sound uh, I also I use a small gunshot that is from the uh, this is from the it is or uh, this sound is also from the video copilot uh, for the uh, sound effects toolkit and just click and drag and position it maybe you can uh, see the vibration so you can align that sound also I think it is positioned right wow. very nice and we can also use some depth of field so for the camera uh, go to the camera and press AA and it will bring the depth of field option here you can use it that is optional because it, it will render uh, heavy the render so uh, but look nice but we have to keyframe it so it will stay focus on that curl only so like this make a keyframe here 
and at the very beginning also change okay so that is what we get so now um, make some color correction so just select all the layer and press ctrl shift and c so make it a pre comp and maybe create a adjustment layer and go to the color correction press tint and also the curve so a very basic color correction module um, lower the saturation um, and also make it uh, bluish like this bring blue channel up okay. and also make a little contrast like this okay so we make the whole scene so i hope you like it and also uh, uh, learn uh, the tricks that i use and uh, i think you like this and um, so that is for today and i hope you like it and please make your comments in the comment section so i can uh, know that uh, 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 how you like it and how much you liked it and if you have any questions you can ask it uh, ask me from uh, ask me. so goodbye friends